it's a game changer. It's what we have been waiting for. Because the 16,000 members I have, if you are to look at them, probably the ones with uh, academic, you know, uh, who have academic prowess are less than 1,000. So the 15,000, the rest of the 15,000 in MCSK, and by the way, we have so many musicians in Kenya who are also not members. If you look at it, this is a game changer because now we are giving them value. They thought you just sing, and when you get tired or something happens to your vocals, you, you know, disappear into the oblivion. We are giving them value. So that concept of identifying and nurturing talent takes now a global perspective that gives the value to the artist as a product. They should embrace it. We will help them embrace it. We'll go through public sensitization. We'll go through across the country. We'll ensure that they understand this. And we'll pick examples that will go to those other universities abroad and other jurisdictions that recognize this program and they will see what it has done to others. We have had stories of some of the young people in Kenya, like the boy was blindfolded but can identify colors. Uh, you have had stories about a three-year-old boy who can mention all the governors in Kenya. But people think it's just for fun. Yet you can just you know, stand on a stage and you have a lot of confidence and you embrace the president and you go and take photos. There's more to that gift that can be done with that gift. So we want to utilize the gifts in our musician, that confidence, their stage presence, their brand, and identify the, the core values that they have and exploit those ones for them to make money and then go through the process together. You see, like now, why we are certified as professionals. I'm a communications professional uh, because I went through a process. Yashule, a musician generally lumped together as a musician. And then there's no value unless you sing a song that sells for some time. There's nothing to distinguish. So you're a musician in which area? So the same way in medicine, we have a surgeon, we have this, we have a gynecologist and so on. This is what we're going to do through this process. You can't just be lumped together as footballers. So you play what role. You find there's a defender, goalkeeper. What determines that? Because a goalkeeper can also score. They have legs. So you can't just say musicians are just musicians. There should be a scientific criteria to say this uh, musician is good at this and they maximize on their niche and make money out of that niche. It's his own God-given metric values to make him understand how to be a surgeon, how to be an architect, how to be a linguistic, how to be a musician. They all have their own metric. Every human has a talent. If you don't have a talent, almost you have no cognition. What differs is the extent of those metric values. There are people who exhibit multiple domains by using both sides of the brain. Those are the ones called gifted. So multiple talents make a gift. So when we say we assess, we are not assessing you to become a musician. That's an example. We are not assessing you to become a footballer. That's an example. We are not assessing you to become a comedian. That's just an example. We are not assessing you to become a medic. That's just an example. Those are opportunities which we now have to match with what we assess and find to belong to you and put you with those opportunities. All right. In Kenya, for example, number one, first you need to get to our website, Gifted Africa, gift for gift, giftedafrica.org. If you go there, you'll get our service. In fact, you can start the process online, which is even cheaper. But if you want to physically visit us, we are in Nairobi on Gong Road. Um, if you know Family Bank at Dagoretti Corner, nearly opposite the Meteorological Headquarters, we are on that same building of Family Bank on the sixth floor. You'll find us there. You can find us right here um, at Fanisi Gift and Talents Discovery Center, which is located at uh, Kagwi Conference Center of Kiambu Road, and we call this one the Runda Campus. That's where we are right now, and which we